How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP Wi-Fi battle and today we're going to hopefully be showcasing Charizard again in this new team I made recently. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one and with that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Okay, we found our opponent, um, they're called Glitch, they've got a nice looking team I guess. Not really. Charizard looks like he can put some work in there. We've got two Steel types there um, and two Pokemon that's, you know, probably going to take a good amount of damage anyway, being the Clefable and the Gyarados and the Salamence technically with the Dragon Pulse. So I've got to remember that Charizard might do well this game. However, looking at his team and what he might lead with, he might... I'm thinking he's going to counter lead me, so he probably will expect me to lead with Tyranitar to get the Stealth Rocks up, in which case he might lead off with the um, Scizor. So I might just straight up lead with Charizard. Alright, the battle begins. Sends out Gyarados. That is also a good way to lead against Tyranitar, so I'll give you that. Charizard's in. Um, damn it, I should have really picked a better lead. But I can't let it get me down. So he's got the Intimidate off, which is fine. I'm not really a physical attacker. I'm going to go ahead and switch out, though, because I haven't really got much to deal with this Gyarados. Uh, I'm going to go into Gramble because Gramble is a bulky boy and we get the Intimidate off which is great against such a strong physical attacker like Gyarados. So we'll switch out into Gramble real quick, get the Intimidate off and from there I'd, I'd expect him to go into Scizor or Magnazone to be honest with you because I'm a, I'm a fairy type you know it's weak to steel and probably has you know fairy type moves so that's, that's what I think I'm going to do. So, off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and expect him to switch into either Magnazor or Scizor, and I'm going to go for an Earthquake. If he stays in and attacks me, I'm going to be really annoyed. All right, he is going to withdraw his Gyarados, hopefully into Magnazone. That'd be better, but no, Scizor. Okay, that's fine. We're getting some damage off on Scizor, which is perfect. So, let's go for the Earthquake real quick. It was over 50%. It was a crit. We like that. We like those lucky crits, okay? We definitely like that. So, definitely want to switch out. What do I go into? Probably Charizard. I think Charizard's the best switch here. So let's just do exactly that. Switch into the boy Charizard. And hopefully he went for Bullet Punch. Because if he went for Bullet Punch, it means I get to get an attack off. If he went for U-Turn, then he's got a bit of initiative on me. And he can just bring back his Gyarados straight away. But he has gone for the Bullet Punch. Clearly didn't want to mess around with the, with the Gramble. Um, so now I'm thinking Fire Blast or Air Slash. He's definitely switching out. But what into? I would probably say Gyarados or Gastrodon. So I want to go for an Air Slash right now just so I can get some extra damage off on those. Uh, the Gyarados won't appreciate an Air Slash too much. Um, especially if we can get our Stealth Rocks up. Whew. There we go. So he's going to withdraw his Scizor, of course. You're not going to stay in against the Charizard. Goes into the Gastrodon. That's all right. That's fine by me. It's a good job I'm not Power Herb Solar Beam, eh? We can go for the Air Slash, take it out, not take it out, do some damage, <laughs> just take it out. Oh yeah, the day Gastrodon dies to a to an Air Slash from a Gar uh, from a Charizard, yeah, that's, that's, that's the day, that's the day. Um, we're going to have to switch out though. We're going to Stretch, I think. We're going to Stretch. I think we're going to Stretch because then we can spoil something. Um, because if I go into Stretch, it's definitely not going to keep the Gastrodon in, which means it's going to switch out. Uh, so that means looking at his whole team, there's a good four of them that I would not... Oh, he went for the Ice Beam, anticipating the switch. What a baller. But this is still a fine situation. So we can just go for a Spore real quick because he's definitely going to switch out. There's no way you keep a Gastrodon in this is a Breloom. just doesn't happen. No world does this exist. All right, he's going to withdraw the Gastrodon. Going into what? What do I get to put to sleep? The Fable. Okay, okay, that's fair. So we can get a Spore off, which is great. And we're also going to be able to switch into Tyranitar here, I think. Is, is Tyranitar what I want to bring in? Yeah. Tyranitar's fine. I de I'm obviously going to take some damage from Moonblast when he wakes up. But for now, getting Stealth Rocks up is a big thing. It's definitely going to be a big thing. Because um, it forces him to go into his Scizor, which opens up an opportunity for my Charizard. So we'll switch out into Bangiris, Tyranitar, and we get the Stealth Rocks up as well. So we get Sandstream up, which is whatever. It's a bit of chip damage every turn. 
negates the um, thing. And he actually withdraws his Clefable as well, going into Magna Zone. Now, there's no way he stays in and attacks me. He Volt, volt Switches here. So I'm going to go for a Stealth Frog. If he stays in and attacks me, that's very risky because I could very easily have Earthquake on this Tyranitar. Very easily. I don't, but I could. And it's quite common to have Earthquake on a Tyranitar, I believe. Yep, he's going to withdraw the Magnet Zone, not even Volt Switching it. So we avoid the chip damage, which is great. As he goes into the Gyarados. There we go, gets the Intimidate off, but it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get my Stealth Rocks up real quick because there's no way... Gyarados doesn't get defog, I don't think. So don't have to worry about this thing defogging me. i just got to worry about what I'm switching into it. So the Clefable's asleep, which is great. Don't have to worry about it soft boiling and stuff. And I should have really put something on this team to help with, um, help with, uh, what do you call them? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. What do I switch in here, though? To a waterfall from this thing. Let's go into Latias. I think Latias is the best play. Switch into a waterfall easily. There we go. Does a Dragon Dance, which is scary, but, but, good. Do you know why it's good? Because we're Choice Scarfed. And the fact that you got a Dragon Ants up means he probably will stay in to try and outspeed us. But it's not going to work. He's got leftovers, which is great. So he hasn't got the berry that nullifies electric arc attacks, which is perfect because it means I can just go for a, a Thunderbolt. And now my opponent's probably going to be quite confident in his Gyarados. Now that the Dragon Dance is up and he's going to think, yeah, we'll just outspeed and care of this Latias. He's probably just switched in to take a Waterfall and that's it. But guess what? He withdraws. <laughs> Crap. He's one of the people. He doesn't mind withdrawing. He doesn't mind. All right. There, there. That's the safer play. That's, that's definitely the safer play. So, kudos to them. I go for the Thunderbolt. It's going to do minimal chip damage to the Magnezone. Still, though, chip damage is chip damage at the end of the day. And now I'm kind of thinking, is he going to Flash Cannon or is he going to Volt Switch? That's the real question, isn't it? That is the real question. Part of me wants to sack Breloom. Part of me wants to switch into Tyranitar to take it. What's better for him? Going for Flash Cannon. Oh yeah, there's one. Yeah, Flash Cannon will KO a good amount of my Pokemon, so I'm kind of worried about that. I think he will go for Flash Cannon, you know? I don't think he'll go for Volt Switch. I think he'll go for Flash Cannon. So let's go into Charizard real quick. If this doesn't work out, please don't hate me. This is just like, I'm just, this is all that I can think in my head right now. Flash cannon, cool. Perfect. Nearly takes us out from there, that's not good. However, no sandstorm, so still got a bit more health than we would have had. I'm going to go for a fire blast. I don't care if the gastrodon comes in, or do I? Or do I? I don't know. Right, he's going to withdraw his magma zone. What's he going into? Gastrodon, of course. Gastrodon's going to take this Fire Blast pretty well. However. Oh, that did a decent amount of damage, to be fair. And we got the burn! I'll take that. Now, with his final breath, what's my Charizard going to do here? That's the real question. With his final breath, what can we do with Charizard? I would say... We could Focus Blast. I think Focus Blast would be a good shout. Let's go for it. Can we hit it? We do hit it, which is great. There we go. Oh, it didn't KO. That's a shame. But it's fine, because now we get to switch into Breloom for free, which is cool. Goes for a recover on the inevitable impending doom of my Charizard, which is fine. Because he's still low on health and he's still burned, which is fine. Right. What do I bring in now? Uh, I feel like um, this team's got some holds in it. It's got some holes in it, this team has. So what kind of situation do I need to create here? I need to create a situation... You know what? Screw it. What am I doing here? Let's bring in Mama Swine. Mama Swine is doing a lot of damage to his entire team. And I have a freeze dry right here, which will do some good damage to the Gastrodon. Maybe even take it out. So let's go for it. 
And if he switches out, he switches out. Nope, there's the freeze dry. It is four times super effective. Taking out the Gastrodon. Mammoth Swine coming through for me. That's what we like to see. Now he's going to go into his Gyarados. Gyarados. Oh, it's a tough one with this one because I'm thinking in my head. If I switch out, it means he can Dragon Dance. And my Latias, which is Choice Scarfed and able to outspeed it, is asleep. So, knowing that, do I go for a Freeze Dry again, anticipating the Dragon Dance? Or do I make the safer play and make the switch? And if so, what can I switch in? I'm probably thinking Gramble can switch in. Alternatively, we could go ahead and sack Breloom, now that the Gastrodon's gone. I think we sack Breloom. I think we do. That's definitely going to be what we're doing. Sack Breloom. So let's get Stretch in there real quick to just die. Goes for the Waterfall. That's even better because it means I get a free switch in now. Question is, what do I bring in? Tyranitar can definitely take a hit from Gyarados. Especially without the Dragon Dance up. And I can retaliate with a Stone Edge. But that's just going to make him want to switch out. And he'll, or he'll, he'll switch into uh, the old Magnazone. Hmm. Let's go into Tyranitar real quick. I'm going to go ahead and expect him to switch into Magnazone. I think he will. And it's times like this I wish he did have Earthquake. Because this, this game, this particular team I'm going against, Ice Beam's not doing anything for me. So, the real question is, do I go for a Stone Edge or do I go for a Crunch? Crunch would be nice to get some damage off on the Magnazone. The third option is, I could go into Mamoswine. Um, wait, you're not asleep anymore? Why aren't you asleep anymore? Oh, okay. Weird. Uh, <laughs> Gyarados. I say we stay in. He might... No, I think we should go for a Stone Edge. He's going to withdraw his Gyarados, of course, going to the Magnus Zone. It's a Fable. Interesting. Interesting. So Stealth Frogs are going to come in. Not Magic Guard. Unaware. That's the most common one. We hit the Stone Edge. Ooh. That damage was a bit... Uh, that damage was a bit... Please stay asleep. I personally would go into my Magnazone. I feel like, but maybe he is worried about the Earthquake. Still fast asleep. We are going to take advantage of this. Another Stone Edge hit. That's perfect. We like that. There we go. And please stay asleep this turn as well. That'd be great. Oh, wait, no. It outspeeds me, so it wouldn't... Yeah, never mind. Fast asleep again. We were able to get the kill on the Clefable. No, never mind. We didn't. Are you kidding me? I should have gone for Ice Beam. <laughs> should have gone for Ice Beam there. Oh dear. Please stay asleep for one more turn. That's all I ask. Stay asleep. Come on. Woke up. Moonlight. It's not going to heal as much from the Sandstorm. We could have gone for a Stone Edge there. If I'd have gone for a Stone Edge there and hit it, we'd be much better off. Don't subside, Stance on. Don't subside. There we go. The Sandstorm's still up. Let's go for a Stone Edge. I'm just going to go for a Stone Edge. Moonblast is just trying to get some damage off before the inevitable pain of dying comes through. Does not, not do a lot. Of... Oh my god, I missed! Again! What is going on? See, now we can go for Moonlight and get all his health back. This is terrible. This is terrible. What what happened here? Let's go to Mamoswine. Mamoswine might know. We're going to Mamoswine. Earthquake should be able to take him out from wherever he was at with his health. All right, there's the Moonlight again. Boom. That's a lot more health than I would have liked. But it's fine. It's fine. Let's go for an Earthquake. All right, he's going to withdraw his Clefable going into the Gyarados, probably. Salamence, that also works. If it's Intimidate Salamence, I'm going to have to switch out. If not, can I shard it in the face? Yep, Intimidate. Definitely switching out. 
as he's more than likely going to go. Why aren't you asleep anymore? Oh, did you not put me to sleep? Oh no! It switched. Yeah, never mind. I'm thinking of another battle. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Wait, what are we uh, facing again? Salamance. Let's go into the boogie man. I'm pretty much wall Salamance with this thing. Get our own Intimidate off and everything like that. Rough, rough. He likes it rough. That sounded dodgy. Right, he goes for a Dragon Dance. That's kind of annoying. But at the same time, I'm fine with it because... I reckon he'll switch out here. I do think he'll switch out into Scizor or Magnezone. Probably the Scizor. So, I want to go for another Earthquake, don't I? Do I? Hmm. I'll go for Thunder Wave expecting the Scizor. Because getting that thing paralyzed would be very nice. But also getting this thing paralyzed while it's got the Dragon Dance up would also be quite nice. Alright, he stays in and goes for an Earthquake. Is this going to 2-8 KO me from here? Oh, dear. That's no good. There we go. We've got the Thunder Wave off. And he's Life Orb as well. That's no fun. No fun at all. I mean, it is fun for him, I'm sure. But what can I do here? What can I do? I've got a Dragon Dance Salamence up. He's only got one Dragon Dance and it's only a neutral attack because of the Intimidate. So, if he's going to go for an Earthquake, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a Play Rough. There's a chance we'll outspeed. He's going to withdraw. Okay. Scizor again. This, this worked out differently to what I played out in my head. Whatever. Uh, this time I'm going to go for a Play Rough. Does a decent amount of damage, to be fair. So the Sizzle's nearly gone. We've got some more leftovers recovery as well, so we we're in more of a range to live an Earthquake from the Salamance again. However, I probably want to preserve my Gramble. However, everything I can switch in will die to a Bullet Punch. Well, no, Latio, Latias won't, but it might get two shard. I think I might just have to stay in and go for an Earthquake. Bullet Punch, there it is. Takes me out, right? Yeah. It's fine, because it means I get a free switch in to something else. Um, and that something else is going to be probably Latias, to be honest with you. Probably going to be Latias. So, now, what's, now what do we do? Hmm. Let's go for Ice Beam. Ice Beam will take it out, but I'm thinking about the switch in. There we go, withdrawing the Scizor into the Magnezone, probably. Yeah, Magnezone can take any hit from me at all. Get the Stealth Frog damage off, and a bit more chip damage with Ice Beam, which is cool. You never know, we might get the Freeze. I doubt it, though. I really doubt Yeah, there we go, see. Now what do we do? Oh, This is a tough one. We need to get rid of this, Magnezone. It's probably going to go for a Flash Cannon. I think here we sack the Tyranitar. That's what we need to do, sack the Tyranitar. The battle will end in 50... Has this battle really been going on that long? Damn, they really need to sort this battle timer out in uh, sort Scarlet and Violet. I hope they do. Alright, there we go. K KO'd me. Looking at the rest of his team... We might be alright to go with um, Mamoswine. I mean, provided we had more time, Mamoswine could have finished this game off for us. Well, that's not going to happen now. Let's go for Earthquake. Alright, he's going to withdraw his Magnezone. What's he going to go into? Probably Gyarados or Salamance. The Fable. Alright. After Stealth Rocks, can Earthquake one-shot this thing? Maybe. Nope. <laughs> Nearly did, though. Oh, well. What can we say? What can we do? We lost that one, which is a shame. It came right down to the timer, and I guess it just proves the point that we need more time for these battles because sometimes they are just really long. Um, that's how it's always been. And I liked it when you don't have to worry about the timer and stuff. You could build more balanced, more defensive teams without worrying about running the timer out. But 
you know, it's, it's whatever. So that was uh, today's battle. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe. Let me know where I could have done better in that battle because I feel like I made quite a few misplays, but at the same time, I don't know. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.